Nice to see you all back. <laughs> we thought we would show you some examples of some of the creatures we were talking about this morning. Extreme environments or environments that are sort of at the edge of life often produce creatures that look very unusual to us. So this is a beautiful fish that lives very deep down and has these very large eyes to try to detect any light that is there deep under the sea. These are many hundreds of meters beneath the uh, surface of the water. This is a very primitive sea creature, not as advanced as that fish, yet it has put into its um, outside the ability to glow in the dark. You can see these are interesting features. This is a, in, this is not even a vertebrate, whereas that fish is called a teleost fish. They're very different on the phylogenetic tree, um, but they're both adapting to their environments. So when we say um, we're going to catch fish, when a human in our neighborhood is going to catch fish, we say he's going fishing. This fish is going fishing. Deep down in the ocean where there is no light, this light will attract small creatures to it. This fish has related species that don't live so deep, that live up closer to the surface. So at the end of his fishing pole, he doesn't have light because there is light. Instead, he has a little piece of tissue that looks like a tiny fish. So something comes to eat that thing that they think is a little fish and instead gets eaten. Oh, there he is getting ready to, to grab this creature coming to him. Oh, this is from a movie, right? This is, what's it called? Finding Dory? This isn't Finding Dory. What's the name? This guy has a name, right? Oh, he has, the big fish has a name. Okay. This thing lives in a cave, doesn't have eyes, but can feel its environment by these very fine, uh, almost um, filamented hair-like things on its arms. This is starting to look like the phony bugs we made you cut out this morning. This is a mammal that stays underground 
um, it just digs, it's great at digging, and it has no fur that you can see and no functional eyes. The di nuso simje res ina shenda mandra hori lana di namju ina puyo ras di lo puyo mar res. The mig halam mig mer lana digi res kan lana chile chigi o mar res namju migi chile di. It does have big teeth for making these holes in the ground. Di la di sai wall di digi o zang koran zol so jidoa so ringu o res di koran zol sa chue da di lo pingi o res. Its name is the naked mole rat. And the ming la ani naked mole rat lagi o res. Di la di ta chiba Naked lana tulu makun jo dosi jo rata dil puyo mara dinte dojil si ming dinte shta shay res. Yeah, please. Um, scientists just made a very exciting and unexpected discovery about the naked mole rats. Ta thanda chini ba dinte ki thanda di chivash do di rocha shay na di gal ani sarnye kharosusu ki ta hopto me sarnye me do shinye res. Just a few weeks ago, they were doing experiments to study how they breathe. How they breathe? Breathe. Breathe. Okay. Quran so it's very bad. Then so ki ah, di to la khari taaje shir lao na dunna khasi moila. Quran so ok tong le khandi chigu me di gal taaje shir res. They live in tunnels underground with many many mole rats around, so they there's not good air circulation. Di la di ta sa wala chujo di na di gal res la ra sa sa wala di du gal la. Di na do thanda Quran chibu par na chibu tey de mangbo shush niam di gal res. Dilo dulung yama kore jora kaku cha de ras kore u dinte na. And oxygen levels can get very low. Dilo du ani solung di ani solung git seta ena mau shu res minu res dinte na. As scientists were studying this, they accidentally discovered that if they turn the oxygen all the way down, so there's no oxygen, the mole rat can live for 18 minutes. Ta thanda solung chie meo shu ena sradi kordon dinte na. Seri badu je taaje chiyo ka su lu solung chiya meo su taaje chiyo ka su thanda di chiberi di during le khagas sune chitu yo res khagas chitu yo la ona kama chobgi sring la sune chitu yo res koran so lung di solung chiya meo ka su If they do that same experiment with a regular rat it dies after 45 seconds Ta namju chi chi jura din de rigla taaje chiyo ena solung chiya meo sha ena sra din de khori ri sha ena an koran so karcha shif shanga na shif When the oxygen goes so low, the mole rats go into a different state. They lie down and they stop moving, and their heart slows. But when they put the oxygen back in the air, they wake up and they are completely fine. Di la du solung mewa kapsu koran zo neba mida oroji la di yo reste dan hande di wor la ina yo gu chi ma chin lu lu de an tehan na shi ani up tong lin chie jura ying gi par ding di ma cha yo reste koran zo I don't know that sounds to be there are animals that go into hibernation so maybe some of those same genes are carrying over Di la du de gu nyen la gu ga le ying ri jura sem je din zo gi ri ze da an kon zo dao ro cha yo gi reste pe je To speaking personally I wouldn't like to experiment with this animal I don't like how it looks ตังอดโรชาชอนตังอดินซิมจินดินเดกาวชิรามิสดิกันตาจิชิซามาเรสเน็กซ์พิกเจอร์พลีสดิสอีสอีอีอีอีอีอีอีอีอีอีอีอี
unusual adaptations to make them successful right there where they are. Dila dita dinzo socha dinzo khari cha deo lao na yunde maim be kuryuk dinta na nengi indu gala ang koran so rik di and mixi gita kuryuk dige na la ne tunge so ne chi tunge dinzo rik mandao ji cha deo res. So today, this afternoon, we thought we would have you um, understand a little more about the idea of making these trees that show relatedness, these trees that are called phylogenetic trees. So, I would just like each one of you to think of five animals, anything, five anythings that you think are very different from each other and write them down. Five living organisms, right? Yeah, organisms. Mm. So please think of five living things that you think are very different from each other. And write those down. And please write those down. Do they have to make the tree now? No, wait, wait, just five different things. Yes, John. So now, please get together in groups of four or five and try to make out of these 20 or 25 or so animal uh, organisms, living things, how they might be on a phylogenetic tree. So you might think, I picked a lion, he picked a tiger, they might be close. I picked, uh, um, I picked this and that, and someone else picked a plant. Try to make a phylogenetic tree out of the 20 or 25 things. The Michigi and the King of Nai Ming Tura, Dila do the Ruga Surochis, Rugana, Mishi and Minga, and Mishio and King Nishuchasa, Minga and Nisanga Chasa, Dinzu Sanga Susu Ruchi, and the Perimgi Dombo de Surochis, the Pesha and Chigi Tarche, Chigi, Sengi Tio and Nastra. So obviously the things you picked are alive now, so they'll all be here now, but you can try to draw how they might be connected.
that your group is put together. So mm -hmm. they should, after they see these and when we talk, they're on. After seeing this, they have to talk First, to them. We're gonna, they're going to look, we'll talk, and then they can look at what they put together. Then we can do seagulls, and these are the ones that are going to do the two of them. Okay, so we're going to do it. Two of for all your beautiful, beautiful trees. Thank you, Renzo. Shin Don Ying Jimu Shu Chi Sha Sura. Then Zul Tu Shen Ang Shu Yes. I love that some of them have straight lines and are very ordered, and others are more organic looking. Dila do kashi ki kadish lana thi gan le tuen sha sri mudi kashi ani rimu thanda di chig 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 yalga rosh tuen sha. I'm wondering when you all looked at other people's trees, did you see that you had done things similarly, or did you see sometimes differences? The kiran zo di sirwa karbona. So there are differences. Hmm. What differences? Are there things up here that you would change in your in your own tree? The ruga shemba the keba dula ra. And so so ruga remove the lattice. Do you think we na ni keba do you have to say yes? Do you have to say yes? Dire. Mm -hmm. So he he thinks that they have to change this order. They have to change these two places. Monkey should be up here and elephant down here. Mm, so you want monkey to be closest to humans? Dila do any kiran so two the any mila ni shu two the shagur shigur ras. Mila ni shu the two. Yes. Um, I see this group put monkey with humans. Did most groups put monkey and humans? Did most groups have monkey and human as, their, as some animals? Sorry? Did most groups have both monkey and human as one of the organisms they picked? It's interesting to me that when we picked 20 organisms, we largely picked animals. It's very easy for us as humans to overlook all the smaller creatures that we don't think of and we don't have, we don't see that much. I do see one group has mosquito and ant though, animals that we see, insects that we see a lot. And we have a flower and a tree as well. But generally we're pretty focused on ourselves and some of our closer relatives. But us and animals are only a very small portion of all the species out there. Scientists think there are more bacteria species than eukaryotic species. But we're still finding more and more bacteria every day, finding new species. So after Darwin had his idea and people, scientists began to make trees like that to figure out the history of life on Earth, they did it similarly to how you all did it from what the animals look like and their behavior. But now when we make these trees, we use the DNA sequences to figure out the evolutionary history. And there were some cases where the scientists had to change our trees around because we had gotten it totally wrong. 
kaina na ngwe ni diksha jo jora di ani jo gya go khe res khashe kaina na ye ni koran so diksha jo di ni du yo ha kuni jo ta res for example in this tree we have whale and fish as closely related ta pesha na ta di dong bu na na khari sha sila na nya che whale yo di da ani nya ni new sha dos but actually the whale should be up here with the other mammals ngwe ni chul khari chu la na nya che whale ju ra ta da we can think of whales as maybe big fish, but they have lungs. They nurse their babies with milk. They give birth to a, a live baby. So they really aren't big fish, even though they live, they live in the water. Whale jura ngaran su nya chimbu do thungyo rasta di ngwita wai na di nya mares khais na khuran su gi pu hari khapdu ki gi res thegar pu rang ki gi res ra kongye kongye juni maimba ng thya na shi ani pu lo ma te da di chama yo res in general though it's quite clear everyone has the idea that some things are very different based on how they look a flower is very far away uh, in ancestry from a human I'm not an expert in phylogeny. This tree is very beautiful, but a tree and a fish are probably not as closely related as would be on this. I would put any kind of plant on a whole different branch. I really like how sheep and yak are close and how these mammals are all coming up here, but I would keep the monkey up nearer to a human common ancestor and bird would be somewhere different down here in the line that gave rise to amphibians and reptiles. Well, it's reptiles. Reptiles and birds would have close ancestry. So probably a bird and a snake might be the closest. Well, and this one is interesting because they have um, species as the ancestors. Um, uh, but I would draw it differently with instead of elephant being the ancestor of the yak and the bull, have it be related to them. When we draw our phylogenetic trees, this is going back in time. So at the top or at the ends of all of our lines are the living species. So perhaps if we had elephant, yak, and bull up here, our ancestor might be something like a mastodon. Something like a? Uh, a mastodon? It's an extinct... Yeah. But this was really just a fun exercise to try to get us thinking about all the diversity of life on Earth. We saw some odd organisms at the beginning of our time, and now we're trying to make sense and organize the life that we can think of. And scientists are so <laughs> excited about evolution because it really makes sense of our order. The uh, mole rats that don't have eyes don't make sense except in the context of evolution once you realize they're in an environment where eyes are not useful. And also evolution tells us 
that these relationships can be really happen through the DNA, right? That all of these species started as the same species, the same ancestor with one DNA, and it's the DNA that's changing to give rise to these different species. So now when scientists find a new species to place it on our tree of life, they look at the DNA first before looking at other things. And we'll spend some more time talking at our next session about how that DNA is passed from parent to child. Sure. We, uh, we have some time for questions if anybody has one. So we see we consider both plants and animals as uh, living organisms and both these organisms evolve. So why they are not, uh, why they don't call plants as animals? Why they do differentiate these two? Why they don't call plants as animals? Uh, there are some big differences between plants and animals. So plants have a cell wall which makes their cells able to be rigid and helps the plants grow very tall and strong without bones. Plants also have an organelle that animals don't have that allows them to take energy from the sun and utilize, turn it into sugar. So while plants and animals are both eukaryotes of the three big divisions of life, we are in the same division of eukaryote. Um, we split very early in that within the eukaryotes. Uh, <laughs> But the cell wall and the ability to take energy from the sun is a characteristic of almost all plants. If we could just have go out in the sun and don't have to go to the dining room to eat, we could just sit and uh, make our food from the sun's energy. So we know that uh, uh, 
organisms change uh, because the environment change and also that we right now we know all the genes of humans all the genes of human beings so can we predict that through a diagram like how all human beings look after lo hazu jela Uh, after 10,000 years, how, how would humans look? So can you draw a diagram, he said. <laughs> uh, scientists can study the past and how we've changed in the past, but it's very hard to see into the future of what will happen. Uh, we think the Earth is getting hotter, and we think we will change to that. We think there will be other things that will also cause us to evolve. but it's very hard to predict. Tangumba chitu ya kapu shu chagi yores. Tande kuriyo di khandi yor lana phola tsa ju dro dyora sau shu chagi yores. Di nam do biwa mangbu dro dyores an che za ta lo thi chi gi jela khandi chagi lana ngumba chitu ya kapu yores di. Sir boy money. Sai we're also do you want to say something? I just We think I think in a simple way we think that evolution means evolution for people would be more intelligent uh, smarter bigger brains cooler eyes uh, telepathy all kinds of things that we don't have now gorangi tuana rimu dende stisares khalana midin ta changro changro duyores dila du changro la du leba che yoras an ko chimbu shten da dina leba chimbu che an tana shi ani maung ba khari chungu me chora chi da dende rig da ani pha chu ke je shi ni samlo yuni ke je shi jura telepathy lan dende ge ni yoa yoa ni ba ya yoni dende do ji ni Cesares membachuenas Dila do ngaranzula ni tanda tuje gi mirig jua dinde yugires Konzu gi ngonzu chedu da lega tsama chedinge dinde chi chagi yugires But evolution favors those who have lots of children Te ine tanda pelgur di kholo chungu yor lawa enas ani kinoji kepel khang mangmang chitunge jura dinde rigla ni pejur chungu yores In my country the educated women are postponing having babies while they finish their education Tangaranzu na tanda ari do cha sha ina phila phirula na lobjong keme dinzu phime dinzu lobjong chel tunang chetane ani changsa ge da pu ke dinzu ani ma gyang du res So my sister who didn't go so far in school has seven children and I have two Ta cha sha ina ani nge aja do cha sha ina lobjong sheda dru ma res lobjong sheda chi ma an moran la pu du res nga do cha sha ngal pu ni yes So in 10,000 years people who had lots of children young who are typically not the super brains let's say or shouldn't say that but but people who people who go get an MD a PhD and so on may not have a lot of children ta do tichik jela law in asra ta thande chan patient she do lok jo manga chi jo ina PhD thun jo da MD thun jo da din jo res ra bumram ba thun jo din an khoran zuri ki ta pu jira din din nyunga do ji samgu dos din din ngure samgu dos So maybe we won't get the big brain people maybe we'll get the people who are aggressive or who have uh, other traits but not necessarily big brains who knows Ta ina din de rol ha de oina sra lok jun chinge ri de tis nyunga ra da shedang thanda do ji shi oina lok jun chinge ri nyunga na ya thanda tichik jela ni leba che le jura din de yong ma si o ying chung si res dinde ri la khari yor law na thanda ju chodu na ta oina dinde ri nga gel che yor ri dinde ha si res nga ju she tu ma res khandis chungur la na tichik jela doesn't necessarily mean progress in the way you and i think of and our society thinks of as progress ta thanda phel gur le jura chizo gita dang chi oina yar ge do ju jil si gi res dinde ma res Uh, science also has the ability now to save people through medicine that otherwise before modern medicine they would have died. That's thanda chiri cha sha na me sa mangbu ji su ni ani me mangbu ji chu ni chi tu res ke si me di me o na me mangbu ji ta chi sa res. A long time ago when I was when I was born um I had a disease that the doctors cured me of so I will live and pass on that disease gene to my children. Ta thanda ngara do cha sha na naza ji na chundu ani memba de ju menju chi res menju chi sa jal ta thanda naza gi rigze jura di an ngara ni pu lama ju don chi yo res di rigze di That's an excellent point I work in a maternity ward and we see women with the most bad hearts 
that would never have had babies when I was even when I started my career. And now they're seeing our hospital because they're having babies. The Nyama to Zoom by no Koran Chalin as a Puke Sera, the Dil Lachius, dig of Sukimi, Ning Neba in by Napuke or Yomaris. Get to him, you didn't come into your rest, and they to Zoom by no Ning Neba in a gay Puke to me in the Uris. Science also now has the ability to make those babies in the test tube and then put them into a woman. When they make those babies in the test tube before they put them into a woman, they can test the DNA and pick the, the babies that they want to put into the woman. They can even change the DNA in those babies before they put them into the woman. Fix a, de a disease gene, for example. And these things will probably change how our species evolves in the future, but we are not sure how. Clearly, it raises lots of questions, ethical questions, about manipulating our DNA um, in ways that we never could before. So we will leave you with these very deep, very difficult questions to think about as you enjoy your day off tomorrow and we'll continue our conversation Tuesday.